Okay, good evening, everybody. My name is Laura Calabrese. I'm the K-5 Language Arts Supervisor for the district. And I'd like to welcome you tonight to our evening with Young Poets. It is an honor to stand before you as I have had the pleasure of reading all of your children's poems that they submitted for tonight. And I also had the really hard task of narrow narrowing it down to just two. This year, in honor of the district's 350th anniversary, all of the students had to also submit a poem about Woodbridge. So usually with poetry, um, the poets tend to write freely and be able to pick their topic, but to have a topic to have to write on demand, such as given Woodbridge, is actually an even harder task. So they did a wonderful job, and um, I was just talking to them in the back saying how proud all of us are of them and that they should be equally proud of themselves because they did a wonderful job. Um, there are a few people who I'd like to thank, the Barron Arts Center, of course, for allowing us to host this event here every year, Mr. John Bader, our assistant superintendent who is here with us tonight, and central administration as well. There are many teachers and principals here who are joining us too tonight. Um, I do ask while the students are reading, if you just refrain from taking a lot of photos, you'll have plenty of opportunity at the end of the night to come up here or to go in back um, when we have refreshments to take as many pictures as you'd like, um, just to kind of cut down on their nerves a little bit, because um, some of them are a little nervous. We do have a kindergartner tonight, which is very exciting. So we are represented from grades K through five. So I'm going to turn it over to our poets right now so we can give them a warm welcome as they come to the stage. Hello, I am Sophia Costa, grade four from Mobby Street Elementary School. And today I'm going to be reading my two poems. Here's my first one. Love is. Love is a bird taking my fears and problems away. Love is a chain of rubber bands that can never be broken. Love is a gift that your parents give to you. Love is a light in a dark corner of life. Here is my second poem, Woodbridge. Woodbridge reminds me of a comforting home. A comforting home reminds me of fun. Fun reminds me of our amazing parks that I love to run around in. Our amazing parks remind me of our even better school playgrounds. Our outstanding school playgrounds remind me of recess. Recess reminds me of our impressive schools that educate us amazingly. Our impressive schools remind me of the district. The district reminds me of Mayor McCormick, the best mayor ever. Mayor McCormick reminds me of Woodbridge Center Mall. Woodbridge Center Mall reminds me of stores. Stores remind me of Main Street. Main Street reminds me of, of our wonderful town, Woodbridge. Good evening, everyone. I'm here to recite two poems um, I wrote. My name is Rasna Kaur, and, I, and my school is Mobby Street School. My first poem's title is, called, is Jewels. In a dark, rocky mine, a variety of gems shine every starry night. My second poem is called Woodbridge World. As I walk into the Woodbridge town, I see a library, ice cream shop, and petting zoo. While well, the people are kinder than ever. As I join a new school, I feel like moving in. But should I leave this township? Never ever. I joined an art class and ballet too. I love Woodbridge, don't you? My name is oh. My name is Sidesh from Mobby Street School. The first poem I would the first poem I would I would read is is called Red. Red is the sound is like the sound of loud screeching tires when the driver sees the red light. Red is this is the like the smell 
smell of tasty, juicy apples from the grocery store. Red is like the taste of crunchy cherries picked by the farmers. Red is like the feeling of cozy, soft blankets made with thick thread. The second poem I would read is called Woodbridge. Woodbridge is a large home for me. Woodbridge is a lifetime of education. Woodbridge is a hard shell of protection. Woodbridge is a shop with, un uh, with unlimited items. Woodbridge is a light of peace and quiet. Woodbridge is a safe and wonderful place to be. Hi, my name is Amalia Lopez, and I'll, um, I'm in second grade, and I go to Avenue OCT School, 4 and 5. The first poem I'm going to read is called Slime Lover. I love slime. I make it all the time. I also love to rhyme. Crunchy, fluffy, buttery, too. Colorful slime, pink and blue. You can make it using glue. Oh, dear slime, I love you. <laughs> my second poem is is called All About Woodbridge. Woodbridge Township is so fine, it all, s it all started in, s in 1669. 350 years is a very long time, but I think Woodbridge Township is so fine. Firefighters are always there. They go everywhere. Police, police try to keep us safe. It doesn't, is it, it doesn't matter at what place. Every child in Woodbridge has a turn to go to school to help them learn. Parks in Woodbridge make kids smile. They want to stay there for a while. I love Woodbridge Township, as you can see. Come on over and meet with me. Hello, my name is Olivia Sawika. I'm from Avenue Street School 4 and 5, and this is my poem, Woodbridge Township. It all started in 1669. The fifth largest township was founded at that time. 350 years ago, our town was small. Now we have a big mall. Back then, nobody knew that we were a town, but we grew. Everyone in Woodbridge is close. We will always boast about how Woodbridge is the best. Our town beats all the rest. Happy 350th birthday to all parts of our town. Woodbridge, you've never let me down. Penguins, round and flat, slipping on ice, huddling in the cold, determined little creatures, laying eggs, loving. <laughs> okay, so my name is Andre, and and my school is Avenel Street School, four and five, and my first poem is called um, My Township. Have you ever walked around Woodbridge Mall? It's so huge, I feel like my legs are about to fall. When mom runs out of baking needs, dad gets up quick on his feet, rushing to the nearest shop, right? Even if it's almost midnight. Parks and playgrounds are kept clean. Every time we go there, our eyes beam. I admire my school's kids' sports and Avenel Street for being generous and helpful to people in need. I wonder if I ever will see Mary McCormack at McDonald's when I buy my Big Mac and let everyone come and see Woodbridge is the place to be. My second poem is a short one, and it's is beach, and I like going to the beach. It's so, it's our relaxation time. The sun shines bright. The sky is blue, the water is warm, I see seagulls fly, but 
the best part is making castles of sand. My name is Vanessa. Uh, I go to, I'm fifth grade at Fort Reading School Number Nine. My first poem is called Books. Opening up a fresh book, hearing the new spine crack, smelling the pages of a clean title, running my fingertips over the edges of each page, waiting to read the first word. <laughs> my second poem is a Woodbridge acrostic. W was settled in early autumn of 1664. O, oldest New Jersey township. O, our town is very historic and really interesting too. D, during 1964, Woodbridge was awarded the All-American Town Award for that year. B, Barron Library was given to the township by the Barron family. R, residents Captain John Pike and Thomas Bloomfield are ancestors of Ge General Zebulon M. Pike and Joseph Bloomfield. I, in the 1900s, the township opened School One. D. During the 1780s, it is said that the first anti-slavery meeting was held in Woodbridge Township. G. Granted a charter on June 1st, 1669. E. Education is in high ratings. Hello. My name is Adam Gray. I'm a fifth grader at Port Reading School number nine. My first poem is my favorite subject. Or is my favorite class. Perhaps today we'll draw stained glass. Splatter, splat, what is that? I prayed we draw today. Perhaps I'll ask for a replay. <laughs> my second poem is Woodbridge. W, Woodbridge Community Center. O, oldest community in Wood New Jersey, O, Outstanding Schools, D, Downtown Merchants Association, B, Barron Arts Center, R, Recreational Sports, I, love it here, <laughs> Dare, D, Dare Running f Free, G, Greenable Woodbridge, E, Evergreen Youth and Senior Center. Hi, my name is Taylor, and, I, and I'm in second grade at Port Reading School 9. I'm going to share my first poem with you. Woodbridge, W, wonderful, fun hometown. O, outstanding, ni nice, funny people all around. O, o one of kind re residents. D, delicious Dunkin' Donuts on every corner. B, bri bridges and traffic. R, roads leading to Woodbridge Center, Port Reading School, and Altitude. I, invincible city. D, dog parks delight my docks and dogs. G, great beautiful skies. Everyone loves the Woodbridge. <laughs> my second po poem is I Want to Know, which is about my older brother, Jordan. Some Sometimes you're sa sad, sometimes you're glad. A lot of times you're angry. I want to know you are my brother. I will always protect you. People look at you funny. They're sometimes mean. Do you even care? I want to know. You are my brother. I will always protect you. You are so smart. You are so funny. You are so confused. You are not scary. People don't understand. I want to know you are my brother. I will always protect you. Hello, and my name is Alyssa Varado. I am in first grade, and I'm in the Rostri School. My first poem is about my mom's food. Mom's food. My mom likes to cook. She gets her from a book. Her food is so yummy. I can't wait for it to get in my tummy. <laughs> my second will be 
A poem is about Woodbridge. Woodbridge. Woodbridge is a new place for me. It's near the city and city. Woodbridge is the place to be. Hi, my name is Emily Montez Yoka, and I'm in fifth grade and I go to Ross Street School. The first poem I will be reading is The Beautiful Sunflower. There once was a pretty flower, a beautiful flower, with gorgeous yellow petals the kind you see on sweaters, a beautiful gentle flower. <laughs> my second poem is about Woodbridge. Woodbridge of Woodbridge, my favorite town. A town like this will never be found. Not here and not there, no place like this anywhere. We have the best schools, our students and staff are so cool. Our parks are the best and this community is the best dressed. We support each other during hard times, donating things of all kinds. Our food is great and if you have ever eaten it, you can relate. Our mall has the best clothes, you can buy little bows. I hope through my poems my feelings have been expressed because Wilbur is truly the best. Hi, my name is Isabella Summers and I go to Ross Street School. I'm going to read you my acrostic poem about Woodbridge. W, we live in one big community. O, our neighbors become family. O, our schools feel like home. D, doing our part to make Woodbridge great. B, but if I had to pick R, Ross Street School is the best. I, intelligence is everywhere in the air. D, decorations for holidays fill Main Street. G, good day, we all say as we pass each other by. E, everybody is important in this town. <laughs> My second po poem is Monsters. I have a friend, monster named Fred. He likes to sleep under my bread. Fred has a furry back and a big tummy sack that always hits my head. Hi, my name is Amber Castillo, and I'm from Menlo Park Terrace. My first poem is called Woodbridge. Woodbridge has a lot of history. Come on over and you will see. It will just blow your mind with all the things there are to find, like the Presbyterian Church on Freeman Street or School 19 that no other can beat. Maybe Bloomfield House on Harrell Avenue. I think you'll see history right there. Now you know a little about our place. I hope you'll come out into our space. My second poem is called Snakes. Slithering on grass, hissing from the deep forest, rattle, run away. Hello and good evening. My name is Riley Taminski and I'm a grade five student at Claremont Avenue School 20. My first poem is called Sickness. Sickness is blue. It sounds like a frog in your throat. It tastes like gross medicine that ends up making you feel better. It looks like a pile of dirty tissues. It calls for sweatpants and an hours of Netflix. <laughs> Sickness is a day home from school. <laughs> Celebrating Woodbridge, New Jersey, history, heroes, and home. History. Cretaceous dinosaurs roamed. Lene Lenape lived. First settlers in 1664. Named after Reverend John Woodbridge. 1696, Woodbridge becomes the oldest township in New Jersey. Revolutionary War Battles. Clay brought Woodbridge to life. 1751, Parker Press, the first permanent printing press house. 1877, Barron Library, first public library. 100 years later, in 1977, it became the Barron Art Center. Heroes, 1910, Patrick Cullinan, honoring Woodridge's first policeman. 1951, Kirk Clarson, captain of the Flying Enterprise, Hero of the Sea. Woodbridge War Monument, in memory of soldiers and sailors who fought in the war of our country. 
2012 Rest in Peace Corporal Kevin Reinhardt, inspired by Eric Legrand and thankful for our Mayor John E. McCormick. Home, growing up in Woodbridge for 10 years, making memories at Claremont Avenue School 20, summer fun and ice cream at Springwood, scrumptious froyo on Main Street, feeding carrots to Katie the Horse at Merrill Park, dinner at Perkins with my best friend Candy, Kenny Vance and Cotton Candy at the Summer Concert Series, Pizza Time and 40 Flavors, Summer Reading at the Main Library, and Love for My Hometown Woodbridge. Thank you. My name is Max Naumov, and I'm in Claremont Avenue School 20, and I'm grade two. My first poem is, I Remember. When I visited my grandma and grandpa in Russia, when summer came around, I visited my loving grandparents in Russia. I missed them so much during the school year. Visited a lot of places I used to go to when I lived there. My sister could not wait to see them too. Grandma made us delicious Russian pancakes with strawberry jam. And I got to spend time with, with my best friends and two cousins. Grandpa took us camp camping to the cool lake where we went swimming in the boat. In my grandparents' house, they even had a swing and a pool for us to enjoy. Russia is a very big and beautiful country, and I'm glad I get to visit it once a year. <laughs> my second poem is my community. Woodbridge is the best town. There's no other place like it around. Here there are many things to do. You can go swimming, skating, or even read at a library or two. When it comes to shopping, there are many places to choose. Try Shopper, Home Depot, Walmart. It doesn't matter, you'll never lose. Just wait, it gets better. The restaurants here have great food. After you eat it, it'll upgrade your mood. I love to live here, as I'm sure you can see. I think more people should come for a visit. It's definitely the place to be. Hi, my name is Jake Gotti from School 20, Claremont Avenue. And my first poem is Baseball. The batter gets in a stance as the pitcher rides up on the mound. He throws it in a glance. The batter hits the ball to the ground. It bounces into the stands and hits a man. It goes into his nachos and spills on him. The, the players tried as hard as they can. What a shame they lost as they pulled down their brims. Woodbridge is. Woodbridge is the oldest township in our state. It was granted a charter on June 1, 1668 was the date. Uh, Cross Keys Tavern was where George Washington once stayed. In 1877, Thomas Barron gave a gift and the first public library was made. Woodbridge Township is a place that pays tribute to men and women who served. The Woodbridge War Memorial and Parade each year is what they deserved. Mr. Stu Brando comes and visits Claremont classes every Veterans Day. One of the veterans from our township I will remember in a special way. Woodbridge Township is a community that will always care. On Colonia Cleanup Day, people come and do their share. Spaghetti dinners, 5K races, and food drives lend a helping hand. The number of people who in our township help the number of people who help, who help in our township continues to expand. Woodbridge Township is a neighborhood that puts kids first, making fun playgrounds and parks where we can let our energy burst. We have the best community and centers and schools that children can attend, and amazing sports teams where I have made some of my best friends. Woodbridge Township is my home sweet home. Walks in Merrill Park seeing the chickens, goats, and Katie Rome playing low league all day and under the lights. Woodbridge Township where everything is just right. My first poem is called Night, and my name is Abigail Valderas, and I am from School 19. Owls slicing the air in one whisper, swoosh. Bats tiptoeing on the flowing wind, shh. Watcoons sneaking around the abandoned park, quack. 
Mice scurrying across the broken fence. Squeak. Crocodiles crawling through the thick hard mud. Thump. Dolphins playing with the glistening sea. Splash. The night has a mind of its own. My next poem is an acrostic called Woodbridge. W, wrapped in, wrapped in a blanket of family, friends, fun, and joy. O, outstanding with its enjoyable events. O, out with the boring and in with the new, it says. D, dipped in fascinating history. B, bringing us great homes that we can enjoy. R, running around, delivering it, its packages of great fun. I, I just couldn't live with, I just couldn't live anywhere else. D, dashing through time to give us more history. G, a great town. E, earning the award of best town ever. I'm Sophia Rodriguez from fourth grade in Menlo Park Tier School in School 19. First, I'm going to be reading my poem called Pink. Pink. Pink is the color of peace. Pink is sparkling gems shining and shimmering. Pink is as gorgeous as blossoms. Pink is as glamorous as a unicorn. Pink tastes like a fruity peach when I bite into it. Pink smells like bubble gum when it pops on my face. Pink sounds like the glistening air flowing through the forest. Pink feels like the dazzling roses. Pink looks like the pigs having fun on the farm. Pink makes me relax. Pink is the best color in the world. My next poem is Woodbridge, the best town around. Woodbridge isn't just a town, it's the best one around. Woodbridge is full of joy. Woodbridge is the best. Woodbridge is the town you should enjoy. Woodbridge has so many places you can experience. There's a lot of historic places you can explore. King Charles Woodbridge is the person who claimed Woodbridge. So thank him for everything that you have. Now that you know, you can explore anything in Woodbridge. Between the three nights of the poets from all of the elementary schools, um, we will be, the other supervisors and myself, will be reading all of the Woolbridge poems, and there will be one overall winner um, out of the, all the elementary schools. So it could be one of you guys. We haven't voted yet, but we are going to read them all. Um, as you can see, they really did a wonderful job, especially um, you know coming up here and being able to read in front of a room full of, of grown-ups. So um, I really think they did a wonderful job. And at this time, I'm going to welcome Mayor McCormick. Good evening. I didn't want to come in here and disturb anybody while they were speaking, but I heard a lot of great words about Woodbridge and the best town around. Where have I heard that before? I just want to say congratulations to all of you up here tonight. It's a very difficult thing to do. If I was your age, I could have never, ever been able to stand up in public and read anything. I'll tell you a story. I was in college and I took a speech class, junior year in college, so I was 20 years old. I dropped it because I couldn't do it. I couldn't speak in public. I was so petrified about doing it. And now here I am, 40 years later, I can do it because I practiced it a lot, which is why it's important that you guys do things like this and get used to it. It's a very good skill to have to be able to stand up in front of people and, and get your thoughts out. And it's even more impressive to get what's in your head onto a piece of paper and express yourself that way. Some people write to teach. Some people write to inform. You wrote to entertain. And that's a difficult thing to do, to be able to take what's here and put it on a piece of paper and express it. So congratulations. Writing is a very important skill. No matter what job you have, the whole rest of your life, you're going to have to write. Whether you're going for term papers in college, or when you graduate and you're a doctor, or if you're a police officer writing a police report, you're going to have to know how to write. So congratulations on being here today and representing your school. I also want to see principals everywhere. Uh, one, two, three. Four, five, uh, who else? Six. Uh, no, they're all six. There's only six here. 
Every principal is here. Every principal. We got Miss Baylog. We have uh, Tammy Giordano. We have Miss Fitzgerald. We have Miss um, uh, Dr. Cincarelli. We have Miss Trupa, and we have Miss um, Schaefer. How about that? There are three kids from each school, three out of hundreds, and they're here supporting their kids. I don't know all the teachers, but if you're a teacher, raise your hand. Look at that. How great is this? So what I would like to do, if you don't mind, is I want to take pictures of the three kids. I can do this afterwards. Oh, no, let me do it now. Um, I'm going to give each of you a proclamation. And if you want to have pictures, your parents take pictures, that's cool. It's only $5 for a picture with the mayor. And then I want to take pictures of the three of you at once. And I want you to put your, your uh, poems here so I can take pictures of your poems. And it's going to all go on fa mayor's Facebook page, which is really cool. And if you're discovered, I want 10% of whatever you get. <laughs> I think it's only fair, right? Isn't that fair? I could be like your agent and give me 10%? <laughs> all right, so let's, you laugh a lot. I like you. I should bring you everywhere. <laughs> Let me put these here. Put these there somewhere. Oh no, I can't put. I gotta. Yeah, I gotta. I gotta get the names off of that. Boy, this is made for little kids. Okay, Moby, Sophia Costa. Down here, Sophia. Look way down. Let's move over here so you can they can see you. You know what? Let's move this over. I can do whatever I want. Huh? <laughs>
It was amazing. The special thing about this evening is that you had to write a poem about Woodbridge and what it may, means to you. I also grew up in this town, so it made me think about the summer of 79. <laughs> Not 1979, <laughs> 1979. And it really did remind me of when I was 10 or 11 years old, I got on my bike, put my baseball glove on, went to San Marino, got a slice of pizza, and it's great to see how much you love the town that I grew up in and you're growing up in. So keep up the good work. Mayor McCormick, I didn't want to mention, you were, met, you were uh, named outright in about 50% of the poem. So. Oh, really? <laughs> I knew I should have come here first. <laughs> good work, good work. And, uh, you know, no wonder you have a mayor who has 100,000 people in this town and he's here for you tonight, and that speaks volumes about the town. So again, thank you very, very much. I do have a reward for you. Um, I know how hard you worked on this. And would you like to enjoy it? those flowers you're writing about, and that beach you're writing about, and those parks that you're writing about, a little bit more one night coming up. We have a bigger book, which enables you to have one night of no homework. 